Wildlife Park here in Horncastle. My name's Caroline. I'm the keeper of these beautiful capybaras here. We've got Cruella, Crackle and Pop. <laughs> Cruella's her name because there's lots of reasons why her name's Cruella, but we'll go into that another time. As you can see, it's mum and two daughters. The two daughters on the far side there, they were born here. So as we, we got the pleasure of seeing these little baby capybaras scuttling around everywhere and having their first swims and everything. Um, basically, they're all out in the sunshine this morning. They've had their, their pony nut this morning that they have in the morning. They've eaten that and they've just come out for a little swim and now they're just standing in the sun. Um, basically, what they have during the day after they've had that sort of roundabout lunchtime, I'll give them lots of veg, chopped up carrot, chopped up cabbage. They love curly kale. Um, they have tomatoes and they even grow their own tomato plants in here by dispersing the seeds and growing their own tomato plants. So they're, they're quite self-sufficient, these guys. <laughs> when they go in the water, they basically close their ears up so they don't get no water in their ears. And as you can see, they're semi-aquatic by looking at their feet there. They have webbed feet. They can hold their breath underwater for two or three minutes at a time. So sometimes if I'm coming out to do a health check, I find that I've lost one of them. I know they're probably having a swim. We'll just give a nice close up there of their interesting web feet. I can get I, when I stroke them and I give them scratches today, they normally lay down and let me look in between their feet so I can get a really good look at them because they are so super friendly. Capybaras can always be like found living near sort of bodies of water due, due to their semi aquatic lifestyle, that's where they'll always be found. So, as you can see, these guys are sat there today. These are normally sort of like murky waters, that's why, this, as you see, they're sort of sat like they are now. That's why they would be found in the wild, really along the banks of the Amazon River. And their facial features are located towards the top of the head as you can see there as well. It's all it's all in a way so that when they're swimming they can keep their eyes, ears, everything above water. As you can see she's super friendly. This really helps me when I'm doing my health checks each day. So I can give them good strokies, I can feel all around their body for any lumps and bumps any little cuts or anything like that really I can get, have a good look at the eyes i can even look at the teeth when i do under the chin like that and as you see they're super friendly we do experiences with these guys people love it because they can interact with them and the capybaras also benefit from it because they love their scratchies anyway i hope you enjoyed this video guys you might be able to get the teeth in there if you, if you give good scratches enough yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and come and see our capybaras soon Bye bye